Well, that's amazing. Rod been in five minutes. Just cast it in. Literally, I was just grabbing my second rod to do because it's still not in. And I've got one in there and what a scrap. What a scrap. I'll have a look in a minute, but it looks like a high teen common. Oh, made up. Made up. Get in. Get in. Ten minutes. I can't believe that. Ten minutes of fishing. Didn't even have my second rod in. I've just weighed it quick. It's been just got my rods back in, so I've actually got both rods in now. I've just done both rods while this was having a minute. What a fight. Jesus Christ. Well yeah, what a cracking fish. Got a tiny bit of mouth damage. But what a lovely long common. Oh, stunning. First fish on here in ten minutes and bloody I'm absolutely made up. And that's for a better start. I actually did see the fish. Well, a fish splash. I didn't know what. Oh shit! Swans are swans are on my left hand rod. Great family bait. So anyway, we'll have a look at this. It calms down. Boy, lovely, lovely fish. Yeah, well, so strong. It was unreal. I thought it was going to be bigger. I honestly did. It's going to go again. Come on. Okay, that was fish. What a stunner. Oh, made up with that. So powerful though. Jesus, I couldn't believe how much that pull then. So oh, yeah. Just over 19. Couldn't make it go 20, I was gutted. Wasn't really. Um, see, see, it's a bit of mouth. I'll show you in a second on this side, the mouth damage. Um, yeah, a bit gutted, but yeah, ni about 19 to it went, it went 21 8 or something like 21 6 or 7 or something like that on my scales. I'm going to in a minute, but um, I know my slings around 2 6, so it, it's about 19, maybe, maybe just, a, just a tad over, but not bothered. Be nice to have got a 21st fish, wouldn't it? But what a stunner! We'll see its mouth there. A bit of, had a bit of mouth damage in past that. So, yeah. Cracking start. Cracking start. I have seen two splashes. Swans. Two splashes. One where I put this one and got it. And one further down out. I think it's in the other club's water. So, can't wait to buy it. I've gone as like, close as I can in my water. But yeah, so... The, to sum up here anyway you don't have to pike though as well because there's one this the right hand rod which has just gone I wasn't sure if it was a pike swirl but anyway right enough nattering let's get this back and these swans are doing my heading already that's took them five minutes to find me bait ah oh, lovely ah oh, the, the rod's just gone because of the swans we're right on my solid bag absolutely mullered my left rod and they've just picked up my right rod as I was doing this ah, that's the way I had my run from just picked my bait up I may as well set my bivvy up till they bugger off now that's my fishing ruin for a bit right after all that commotion and excitement um, I think I'll have to set my gear up I think it's forecast a little bit of rain, so I think I'll have sorted out. As you can see, I'm on the last swim. I think, well, I assume it's the last swim. I think it is. I had a quick look on the map book, and it, it had like a line coming down the field, which I, I assume is that little brook or gully there where that style is. So I assume that style's the last swim anyway, before the other club's water. 
just it's just started putting my bivvy up after getting mullered by the swans didn't bother redo my rods thought i'll get me a um, bivvy sorted now just sorting all my gear out and we've got another one in net not as big this one's about 10 pounds or something like that from what i've seen well, my left hand rod's gone even after all them swans mullering my bait so i'm gonna have a I'm just gonna put my bivvy up and then i'm gonna have a look at it Oh, what a start, what a bloody start. Reminds me of Mickle Wright's Flash. Like a load of common, well, I've seen a little common jump out. I've seen three fish show so far. I've seen two where I'm fishing and one to me right, further up, halfway out. So yeah, but, um, made up, made up, what a start. Right, let's finish, get me bivvy up, unhook this fish and then um, we'll have a look at it, eh? Well, I would love to show you this fish, but it's escaped me sling. <laughs> Frick, yeah. I've just gone over now to to get it out of my sling to put here, and um, it's gone out. About about four minutes ago, I heard like a splash. I just looked over, and it just moved in the sling. And I've just gone over, and it's gone out. How the hell has it gone out? It's zipped up. I just don't know how it's gone out. Anyway, yeah, it was a little common, like them ones at Micklewrights Flats at Micklewrights. Mickle Wright's Flash, the smaller ones, is about, I think it's about £9 or something like that. It's only a small one, but it look gutted. Uh, I'll have to um, watch what I'm doing. Good job that other one didn't get out. Well, that's two fish anyway, but never mind. And the, I'm just about to do my rods and the swans, have, they've left me alone for a bit. And they've swum back down there and then they've just come back now. Going along, they're just going along the far bank like they do at um, Serpentine. I'm just hoovering up any bait, so I kind of think it's pointless me pulling my rod in. So my rod's not even back in yet. I don't know what to do because as soon as it goes in, they're going to go over, aren't they, and pick it up. Anyway, anyway, let's see. <laughs> I'm gutted now. Never mind, I've just got my bivvy done anyway, so I'm just going to um, finish sorting that out and do my rod. Hopefully, I'll get another one to show you anyway. It's only about 12 o'clock, half 12 or something. Right, see in a bit. So now that the action stopped a little bit, um, I can do a bit of an intro. So yeah, you join me today, it's Friday. Uh, you join me at Teton on the Lim card, which they've just got on Monday. So it's only been open a few days. Don't really know, know what to expect. Um, had a look on Google Earth or whatever it was, Google Maps. And um, I got here. I thought it was going to be bigger, to be honest. Well, wider. It's only like the size of. Well, you can see behind me. It's only like the um, width of probably um, serpentine, something like that. Maybe a little bit wider. But I was expecting it two or three times the width, to be honest. So, but not complaining. I suppose it makes it easier to find the fish. But it's pretty long. And I, I thought I was in the last swim, but I don't th actually think I am. But um, I probably wouldn't have gone much further because there's a turnstile and I've had to take all my gear off the barra. And it's already um, a decent walk all the way down there past uh, the other water we just got. Sparrow, Sparrow something it's called. Sparrow Grove. So yeah, uh, so we're on here. Uh, I've had a good start. I didn't know what to expect. Kind of expecting a blank, if I'm being honest, because I didn't know. I knew it was long and I thought, I didn't know where to fish or anything. So yeah, a good start. As you can see, it's pretty long and we've got half the water and they're halfway down, nowhere near. So I think we've got more water than this, which if I was traveling lighter, I'd have probably gone further down where the, there's some um, lilies further down. So yeah, you can see there's no way I'm halfway down. So I reckon I'm not on the last swim, but I've caught anyway, there's a, there's a load of lily pads just to my left, I've got one on them. I've just got one straight out towards, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little duck in the water there. Oh yeah, I, I wasn't quite sure what, what I thought when I first got here, because it's just like a little thin strip of water, but after having a couple of runs and a couple of fish, um, I'm liking it now. The worst part of it is the the walk and the gate because when you 
park your car up there's like a uh, like a what you call a semicircle gate type thing and you can't get your barrow through it so you have to unload your car put take your barrow through and then load your barrow up on the other side and then you've got a decent walk so it's a bit of a bit of a funny one to um to get to and just to make it worse i got halfway past you have to walk past sparrow grove i got past there and i thought i'll just have a little minute and i was just watching water because i don't know what's in that sparrow i'm not quite sure what's in here to be honest i'm not really don't know what to expect but i thought i'll just have a quick watch of the water at sparrow and i stood there watching it next minute oh just had a bleep on me rod next day crash my barrow went over and uh, that pick all my crap up off the floor I was like oh this is not going well but then I just had a bleep on no swans um, thought this isn't going well but then when I cast in and pulled that 19 pounder out in 10 minutes I was like oh that's more than more than made up for it so yeah um, rods are back in now I just had a bleep on one of them because I'm just stood in a little shade a bit because um, as it's sun sun's just come out I can't see what I'm doing properly Oh, my rod's going. No, it's not. <laughs> my left rod just um, went a bit then. Something's... Something's had a nibble. Oh, excited. Oh, it's going. There's the one that's just screened off. One of the members has just come up to me why this was in the water um, in the wasteling. I mean, right rods took off and um, just been done on them snags. I'm gonna have to be careful, I don't know how to combat this. It's cut me clean off. It swum. I thought it was a little bream at first because it didn't hardly pull. And then it got near the snags and it must it must have swam towards me. And then frigging, as soon as it got near the snags, it started pulling line and I thought, for goodness. And then just cleaned me off. And I got tubing on as well. So obviously it was a bit further up my line. Anyway, let's have a look at this one. Yep. A little bit bigger than the last one we had. No, that other one I've just lost felt decent. Like started pulling like that first one I caught. But, um, yeah. Another nice common. The member who's just come over said um, there's a lot of commons in here um, and there used to be 20s in quite a few years ago so sounds like there could be a few decent fishing anyway still still only got one rod in i'm not I'm left i've got another rod set up thank god so i'm going to get that right hand rod in what's just been done on and then i'll have to put redo it again i'll have to be careful i don't know how to combat this i wish i'd set up on the other side now and have been better but never mind that's what i think swans are back as well they've just come back great well there we go about nine ten pounds something like that nice fish melting good nick which is good so happy days <laughs> some blow behind me all right i'm gonna get this one back get this other rod sorted I've just been done on to cut me off and I'm gonna have a brew and have nothing to um, eat or drink yeah turn out a bit of a run session at the moment it's that four runs three fish can't believe it just been done and gutted gutted all right let's get it back
a chunk. <sighs> My heart's going. I had to, um, I think I might have sussed what to do when I got a run because I know the swimming towards that snag. I legged it with um, winding it, keeping tension. I ran about 20 yards to my right to the next swim and just kept pressure on and pressure on and it didn't go in the snag. And I am so glad it didn't because, mind you, I'd never known, but I think I've just broke my PB by about half a pound. <laughs> oh, it went in this sling that was dry. Well, it wasn't dry, it was a little bit wet still from that last fish, but it wasn't full of water. Uh, it went 29.26, I think it was. I'm going to double check it in a minute. And my sling, when I weighed my sling before, it was 1.2. So it's 28 pound bang on. Maybe, oh my God, it's huge. It's Im immaculate. Whoa, Jesus. And it's beat me up as well, but I'm not bothered. It can beat me up as much as it wants. I don't care. Ouch, crap me in the chin. Ow. A little sod. I've just... It has been in the sling a minute while I'm just setting everything. Jesus. Belly on it. It's huge. I can't pick this up. Oh my god. It's like the one he had off Serpentine, but like a bit big. I'm definitely going to get a decent shot of this. I don't care how long it takes me if I have to go back in for a bit. Oh god. Gut on it. Come on, don't bleed. I'm having a decent shot of this, whether it kills me. Thought it was a person. In hell. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. What a stunner. Jesus. I am so, so made up. So made up. Oh my God. Yes, first time on the water. I think it's only half two, three o'clock. <sighs> oh my god. It's got a proper belly on it. I didn't even think it was that big at first till I seen it near close in and I thought, oh my god, this is a good one. Concentration face, come on then. Oh yes, look at that. Oh my God. I didn't think I'd get anything like that today. I was expecting a blank. Four fish and lost one. What a stunner. Right. I'm just gonna put this in the cradle. Look at that. Just coming up to R5 now. Um, I lost another one before. I'm going to kettle boiling. See if my kettle's boiling. No, we're all right. Um, yeah, coming up to R5 and he had that 19 mirror. And then I redid my rods and literally 10 minutes after doing my rod, it went again, my left one. And it got cut off again. So I wasn't sure what I'd been. I've had reset up my rod up again. And why I've been having to think, I don't know what, what's happening. There's definitely something under the water, obviously. Um, 
but I don't know how they're getting there. I think the swimming towards me dead quick, and then the line that they're gaining swimming towards me, they must be going to the left because I've run a lead through it again, and I can't find anything. So I've cast my marker rod with a lead on a few times where I've been fishing, and I just can't find what they're um, getting stuck on and cutting me off. So what I've done is I've had to I've had to move the left rod to the right a bit and just hope that because um, I move to the right they're not going to get the line on me and get to the snag wherever it is it's frustrating me though because I'm getting my runs from the left but then I can't I'm not getting everyone in and I don't like um, just turn my kettle off I don't like like risking the chance of fish getting snagged well they're not going to get snagged up but let's uh, pull this out they're not going to get snagged up obviously because my rigs are safe but I don't like we having to reset up anyway and I don't like losing fish and I can't suss what's going on so I've moved my rod to the right a bit and see what line again on them um, if that's enough to because they get I can see what they're doing they're going to that post that's sticking out in the water but but I've run a, a lead across the post and I can't find anything so I haven't got a clue what they're getting, what it's getting stuck on it's annoying me, I've been trying to work it out but um, yeah, so that's a moving rod for now anyway Somebody, there's another bloke just coming on opposite but to my left a bit and he said there's um, a sunken fence or something but I've just led it over it a few times cannot find it unless it's more left and it's when I'm when they're gaining line on me, I don't know so we're going to see, if it, if it happens one more time, I'm just, I'm just going to run under armour in, I can't um, run the risk. But yeah, I'm hoping this, this solves it now, because I've moved over to the right a bit. But we'll see, we'll see. That's if I get any more runs. You never know, because I've moved my rod, I might not get any more runs now. It looks like I was on the edge of like a little lily bed, which is probably why it was doing well, that rod. But now it's not. But saying that, I have me bigger on my right rod, I think. My right hand rod, so... Who knows? Who knows? I've not seen any bosh out for ages. So I don't know what's... Where they are. I'm not showing themselves now. But we'll see. We'll see. There's plenty of time, yeah. Plenty of time. It's gone like a milk pan now. It's probably about six o'clock-ish, I guess. Oof. I don't know what that was then but yeah it's gone like a milk pod now because see bubbles coming up and stuff now but it's gone dead well I'll say it's gone dead it's only been about an hour since i had a run but you know what i mean liners have stopped everything but um i'm just a bit dodgy with that left rod i'm still a bit worried about it but i've just been because it's gone dead flat now there's some bubbles coming up in the margins so there's a little lilies on my left there so I'm thinking about dropping one of my rods in there my left rod especially overnight just in case I'm in my sleeping bag I just don't I don't fancy um, losing another fish but yeah it's gone proper still I've seen a bit of fry darting around, so I've asked a couple of people about pike and some they've not really said much, they don't really know. One said they've never heard of any coming out, so God knows. But they're supposed to be in here. It's bubbling up near that big stump. That's what I keep, that's what I think this is where I keep losing my fish from. That post there. So I'm not sure, I'm, I can't tell because I'm far away from my rods because I'm landing them to my right. But I think what they do is they're just getting behind that somehow. With, with the line that they gained. But since I've moved my rods, I've not had a bleep now. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to give it another hour there and if nothing happens, I'm going to drop it in the margins there. coming up to 11 o'clock now and absolutely nothing's happened since I lost that fish uh, I've had that one in the margins done nothing I had a few bleeps on my right one a few times but nothing's happened so I just decided to redo them so I've just redone both rods now 
and we'll see if anything happens for the night yeah it's been been really quiet I think the guy opposite may have had a run I'm not sure I heard his rods beep but whether it was a proper run or just a big line I don't know so yeah absolutely nothing's happened been a bit dead so let's just hope hope something happens in the night if nothing we're going to hit it hard again in the morning so we'll see what happens we'll see what happens fingers crossed eh See why it works, can't you? Ronnie in the bag. One o'clock in the morning, and uh, just had this little whipper snapper here. Little common. I'm not going to um, do a proper vid, it's only about five pounds, six pounds, a little tiny thing. So I'm just going to let it go. Bloody hell. Hmm? Started chainsawing next to me now. Ah. Don't know how long for. That's why he was just chopping up then right next to me swim, gutted. I don't think it's mattered though because the bloke cops hit me and he's just hooked into one now. So it's not done any harm I don't think. Took to him up to him anyway, it's his land. Well, it's coming up till 11 o'clock now, and um, I'm going to be packing up soon. No, I'm not sure, unless, unless something happens in the next 20 minutes, something like that. Just, I've started packing up anyway, most of it, as you can see, is, I've not put my bivvy down, but I've started loading my barrow up and that ready. Things forecast a bit of a um, shower or two in an hour. But, uh, so I'm going to pack my bivvy up and then I'm just going to sit on my chair under the, I've brought a brolly with me. Little brolly I use for piking. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, I've been a bit slow today. I've had a couple of liners on my right rod, but it's, nothing's gone. Um, yeah, a bit disappointing this morning. But we had a good. We have. We've had a good set. Overall, I've had a cracking session. A couple of 19s, a 28, and then some other doubles. I think I've had six. Had a bream. <laughs> if you only count the bream. But yeah, so I think I'm going to leave it there because I want to start packing all my bits and bobs up. If if I get anything, I'll um, I'll drag it out again, but I can't see it. That guy had one before, but that's all I've seen come out. He's just doing a bit of spotting now. So yeah, I'm not going to put I'm not going to put this video out until until like, people know what's in here, I don't want, if I put it out next week and then and people see there's a 28 in here, they'll probably all flock here, so I'm not telling anyone. Bit naughty, but oh, last time I did that on Founders and they had a couple of good sessions, I couldn't get on for three weeks, so I'm not doing it. So when, when it starts getting a bit more common knowledge what's in here, uh, I'm going to put the video out and I'm going to try the one behind next, I think, Sparrow. I might try that next time. Not quite, um, might, or I might even come on just do a day session here, see how I've caught out in the night much. Um, might just come on do a day session, bring less stuff so it's not as big a walk, but we'll see, see what the weather does. <coughs> I won't be on next week because I'm going to Trent um, again with Stu to Bob's Island, so that should be good. I'm looking forward to that again. Alright, anyway, see you next time and uh, thanks for watching.